you know, I keep all of my remnants from various projects, knowing that one day I'm gonna use it. And then when Entropy came out with this laminated resin, I was like, okay, I can figure out how to bring these panels back to life with just a little bit of love and TLC. That's kind of where the idea came from. It, was, it wasn't, hey, I wanna make this thing. It was, how do I use everything that I have? My name is Nelson Parrish and I'm a fine artist. One more. Uh, my name is Ryan Lovelace. I'm a custom surfboard builder and my neighbor, Nelson, who I like very much, is right through that door. <laughs> I've always wanted to do something together. I've done little little projects, talked about bigger projects, and and he kind of came through the door a little while ago with it. This kind of one of his offset, you know, cut off pieces, and uh, he was working on a shape on it and said, you know, what what do you think about the shape that I'm I'm doing on this? Fins to me are some of the coolest curves, and so I just kind of looked at one of my fins and just put it on there and drew and I was like, that's what you should do with this piece. I had already started thinking about these ideas of foils, these new sculptural concepts that I had had in my sketchbook. So there is this shape, this particular shape, that allows you to create balance in whatever turbulence you're in. One of the things that I am hoping for is that when we get these into collectors' hands, they can feel that balance, they can feel the handmade, they can feel the curve. So I'm a color theorist, which is I'm always about the language of color. My work revolves around being able to make experiences tangible, memory, visceral thoughts. The resin allows me to bring those ideas into the world. I specifically use bioresin because one, it's non-toxic, but two, it's just the better material and better for the environment. I know at least for my artistic approach, I kind of let things happen when they're gonna happen. I don't like to force ideas or I don't really theorize something and then work on it in my head forever and then do it. And so the way that the project kind of came together for both of us works really well for me where it's just an idea happens and we're in the right place and right time and both have exactly what it takes to see the thing through pretty quickly and just kind of embark on the, the journey that, that the art kind of takes you on. So for me it's just been really fun to actually just have something click and just fall together and be really, really easy and not have to really force any of it or over-engineer any of it and just let the kind of pieces become what they're going to be and just have some fun with it.